Okay, this is an HHO torch here, and this is a tungsten rod. And the rest of this is very similar to a tattoo gun with a trigger on it. Brass on brass ain't very good, but this is all I got. Reason I'm doing this. It was because I finally got my torch to burn a hole through CO2s. But the problem is this hole started over here. And it follows the torch. As the torch leaves the melted area, the hole that it's blasted through seals back up with molten metal. So, I'm trying to build a precision cutting apparatus that jabs into the metal, smacks it out of the way. I'm going to see what kind of cuts we can get out of this thing. I may need to put some kind of sponge cooling system to keep my tungsten rod cool. I got a couple to burn up here, so I'm hoping I can get some plasma like precision cuts out of this thing. And I'm going to be testing this jump flashback arrestor too. It's made out of two air stones. I also have it plastic air stones inside of this don't know if this is going to work or not but and just to give you an idea of how well this whole thing was built with HHO pretty sloppy soldering but if you're a little bit more neater than I am at it you can definitely get some very good results so let's see how this goes Oh shoot, meltdown. So the air stone is kind of working, but because this is plastic, definitely not ideal. In a video I seen a guy using a metal fitting setup, but I can still see the same thing happening with a high flow. This air stone is really hot. So I think I am going to go ahead and try the HHO ball MIG tip thing. Maybe I'll put a couple of them in there just for extra protection. Okay, this thing's too loud to test right now. I don't want to wake everybody up. Basically, what I ended up doing was adding this little coolant tank. I'm going to put water in there and hopefully capillary action will get this string to wick up for me. Because this area at the tip is going to be getting really hot. I don't know how well you can see any of that. And I'm hoping that that'll wet this tungsten rod and keep it cool. I can't test this till the morning. This is a really powerful drill motor. This thing draws like 7 amps. But I will fire the fire. There's no bronze wool in this. That thing is perfect blue flame. Oh yeah. A little warm. I think she'll cut though. So tomorrow morning. We're going to get to see this thing run. Test this tomorrow, too. I think that this little tiny aperture here just turned into a torch on me. This should work with the piece of copper on the end here. Um, if so, this only cost me $1.50, so 